Thank you, Heidi. I'm sure after the readings tonight, we'll, we'll all be wide awake forever with so much to think about. <laughs> and our next reader is Dr. Trevor Carolyn, and he teaches at the University of the Fraser Valley, just up at Abbotsford, I believe. And for, for more than 40 years, he traveled widely in India, and he has polished, uh, sorry, he has polished poems. He has published 20 books, and uh, certainly has a great deal of contrasting life to share in his words with us. Trevor? Thank you, Trevor. <clears throat> and to finish off this section, we have another delight here, Candace James, who, as a poet, of course, who's a, a, a poet laureate emirata, of, that means she was six years at the job in New Westminster. She's been often a founder and president of many things to help uh, creative literary life as well as music, singing, painting, and everything. Anyway, she has 13 books, and as you know, some of the books you'll be able to see on the table on your way out. Candace, please. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you, Duke. It's nice to be here. I've been called many things. Delightful is usually not one of them, but I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to read a, a couple of poems, I think, that will be in keeping with being here at the Tagore Festival. The first one's called, I Saw Buddha. I saw the sparkling stain of Buddha's image on a broken blade of rain-soaked grass. It was vivid and gleaming, yet soft and retiring. I stood between the hands of time atop the shoulders of eternity, high on a mountain of hope, reviewing the unredacted pages of my life. A symphony arose inside a tragic ballet, and the notes rang clear in a circle of perfect dance and cursive composition. A pregnant twilight grew heavy with expectation. The sky broke spilling wisdom's rain onto my dry, outstretched being, delivering droplets of eternal knowledge onto my parched soul. Softly, in the background, a Vedic hymn grew louder, permeated the atmosphere. Then suddenly, I saw Buddha resting in the curve of a sacred mantra beneath an age-old banyan tree. And finally, I understood. Thank you. This next one is about a, I believe it's a city in India called Rishikesh. And there was a very wise sages, the holy men came from Rishikesh. And it really captured my imagination. Rishikesh, the ancient locks of the Rishi, still whisper in the cool, clear waterfalls, the lifeblood of the virgin mountains, crisp brides of these holy men. The lush, carpeted foothills have memorized every indelible imprint of the sages, sandhus, saints, ashrams, and yogas in sacred stepping stone inscription. Every vivid tattoo remains forever ingrained in the winds. The restless, ever-seeking river Ganges crashes down in raging glory onto the rocks of ages, crumbling their pages into long, gleaming highways of white, sandy beach. The mother Ganges has absorbed and enshrined the souls of the Rishi who once walked her shores drank of her wisdom, bathed in her vision, disrobed and unashamed. 
In purity of spirit, the old saints rested on her milky satin sheets of white beach, renewing and replenishing their weary souls. In worship of the Father, in reverence of the Mother, in hope and faith of salvation, the ceremony of Treveni Ghat lives on. The flower-filled leaf boats carrying small oil lamps afloat with wishes, love, and magic drift on the river of eternal peace in sacred salute and revered remembrance of the Rishi. And my last one's a quick little tribute to Tagore. I actually used to pronounce his name wrong. I thought it was Tagore. And uh, Ashok Bhargava said to me, no, 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 it's Tagore, unless, unless you know him really well. I said, well, I'll call him Tagore. <laughs> anyway, it's Tagore, a tribute. Descended from Sanskrit and kings, Tagore of the Philosopher's Stone, poet of the endless deep, swirling in rainbow songs, dancing on sequin pages, beloved by the keeper of the stars. Born of a star-dusted sky, Tagore of the alchemist's dream, son of the heraldic moonbeam, scribe of the mystic verses, swimming in clear blue waves, beloved by the essence of the flame. Infinite being of a thousand faces, Tagore of the perpetual circle, soul of the cosmic connection, author of the elastic eternity, blazing new pathways of spoken spirit, beloved by all forms of poetry. Noble laureate, never-ending spirit, a ripple within a pool, a circle within a circle, Tagore, poet for all seasons. Thank you very much.